Escape from Tarkov holds the reputation of being one of the most realistic FPS titles ever, along with being one of the most hardcore shooters on the market. But it's really no secret that some of the more frustrating aspects of Escape from Tarkov have nothing to do with intended gameplay mechanics or game features, but rather a lack of gameplay mechanics that are sorely needed, as well as a dynamic economy that gets very stale and is catered towards those who invest massive amounts of time playing while leaving new players or those who can't sink 10 hours per day into the game in the dust. The nice thing about Escape from Tarkov is that it's a game that is still in development, with a passionate development team that actually listens to its community. In this video, I'm going to outline all the glaring issues that's making your life harder in Escape from Tarkov, as well as offering some solutions. Let's get started. I think it's best that we start off with one of the most obvious issues that players encounter mid to late wipe. The one that's so commonly encountered in game that's become a meme within the Tarkov community. Instant to near instant death. Call it head eyes, TTK that's too fast, or ammo that's too good, it's all part of the same problem. But in reality, there's multiple components to this issue that make dying within a fraction of a second too common. First is a lack of player movement inertia. Player inertia is something found in almost all major FPS games, regardless of who develops it. You'll find it in Battlefield franchise games, Call of Duty, pretty much all Battle Royale games, and more. It's basically a part of the physics system that forces a player to slow down when rapidly changing direction, starting or stopping movement. In terms of realism, it's an excellent addition as it helps to simulate that our characters have weight and that they're in a world that obeys the laws of physics. But in terms of gameplay, it can massively cut down on the amount of times an enemy can nearly instantly appear around a corner, shoot you, and then slide back into cover just as quickly as they appeared. How many times have you had someone strafe out of cover, kill you instantly, then go back into a doorway or piece of cover before you can even react? I'm betting it's more than a few times. Tarkov completely lacks any kind of inertia system, with the weight system being the only real factor that can slow down an enemy player. And in the late wipe, almost everyone is running around without the overweight debuff. By implementing a sensible inertia system, it will help slow down combat and make the game feel slightly more realistic, while also making gunfights a lot more fair. Next up is ammunition and the economy. One thing I think all players can agree on is that in the late wipe, too many players have far too much money. It isn't that uncommon for your average Tarkov player to have tens of millions of rubles at any given time later in the wipe, and sometimes far, far more. Hyperrat on Twitch is an example of someone who takes ruble hoarding to the extreme. He has over 1 billion rubles. Yes, billion with a B. For a game set in an isolated and blockaded region with very few supplies, it is immersion breaking to have so many PMCs that have such a seemingly endless supply of gear and money. Now, solving the money issue is very complex, and unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that. But I do have a solution for one of the byproducts of so many players having so much money, which is the accessibility and availability of high-end ammo. In Escape from Tarkov, you'll commonly be killed by rare and exotic types of ammunition, such as M995, 7N31, APSX, and a whole bunch of others. In real life, these calibers are beyond rare. They are the rarest of the rares and are highly, highly specialized ammunition types used for very specific purposes by the highest tier military and law enforcement organizations. In terms of lore and story, as well as gameplay, I see no issue whatsoever that these ammunition types are in Escape from Tarkov, but not in the quantities that we currently see in game. Even if you wear the absolute best gear in the game, it's all too common to be killed nearly instantly by someone toting around not one, but several drum magazines filled with these exotic calibers and spraying them at you like they're allergic to money. This is completely unrealistic from a story perspective, as well as for gameplay. A far better system would be to really turn the rarity of these ammunition types up to 11. Make these top end calibers only found in raid unable to be purchased from vendors or the flea market, or possibly as a sort of quest reward. The decision to bring in something like M995 to a raid should be one of high risk for high reward. Losing that ammo should be a punch in the gut to say the least, but managing to find some and use it would certainly turn an engagement in your favor. 
By doing this, and tweaking the availability of all armor-piercing ammunition, gunfights would be longer and more tactical. Each gunfight would be more about skillfully landing headshots or cat and mouse maneuvering, and I think the gunplay would benefit overall. In addition to this, recoil should be adjusted up on several guns in the game. Zero recoil guns are fun to use, but I think we can all agree that it just doesn't have a place in this type of high stakes game. And last on the list is end game content. So, in this hypothetical future of Escape from Tarkov that we're building, we've added player inertia and tweaked the game economy, as well as drastically increased the rarity of exotic ammunition types, plus sprinkled in a little bit of added recoil, and the game is feeling pretty good. But eventually, everyone gets to the proverbial end of the line. You get your Kappa container, maybe you even finish every single quest in the game. Maybe you even went the extra mile and got yourself to kill a tracksuit. So now what? This is the main reason every wipe sees a mass exodus of active players near the end of a wipe. The only thing you can really do is look for PvP or just keep hoarding rubles and gear. What keeps players coming back is not just new maps, expansions, or gear that comes with a big patch every time the game wipes, but also the new wipe experience as a whole. Slower, more intense gunfights, quests, and tasks to perform. It gives you a sense of accomplishment to knock out a few quests that actually work towards a goal, rather than roam around a map just trying to pick a fight. Now, I know, it takes a lot of time and resources for the devs to come up with new narrative quests and storylines. And the more quests we have, the better. But what if we took a more dynamic approach to this, and implemented daily, maybe even randomly generated tasks? Imagine this, it's late wipe and you log in for the first time that day. You check a new tab on your character inventory page called Daily Challenges or something similar. In there are several randomly generated or handcrafted tasks for you to perform with all kinds of rewards. Some are easy and geared towards lower end players with relatively minor rewards such as pieces to upgrade your hideout or quest items. And some are more advanced that encourage players to go to a specific map or location and kill X number of PMCs and extract with their dog tags. Turn in their dog tags and you get a big reward. Here's an example. Peacekeeper wants to set up a forward operating base for UN forces near the health resort, but the place is crawling with PMCs and is far too dangerous to send in his under-trained and under-equipped men. Get 10 PMC kills at the cottages location on shoreline and bring me their dog tags. They must be found in raid. In return, he sourced some rare M995 rounds for you if you can complete the task successfully. You will then have until the end of the day to complete this task. What this will do is create variety and excitement within the Tarkov community on a daily basis. There will always be tasks to perform, and not all of them have to be combat oriented. Some tasks could be planting items somewhere, fixing something with toolkits, etc. They can even throw in some of Jaeger's sadistic styles of quests like maintain a heavy bleed for 3 full minutes or something like that. The point is, it will give everyone something to look forward to, and work towards every single day of the wipe regardless of how many storyline quests you've completed. So to recap, we've identified some big issues with Escape from Tarkov. We needed an inertia system, better economy, less access to exotic calibers, more recoil, and a dynamic daily mission or task system that will keep the game feeling fresh every single day. If you like these ideas, share this video around and maybe it will catch the attention of the developers. Tarkov is an absolutely amazing game, and I don't think any of these issues are due to negligence of the developers. BSG is a small team that is very passionate about their game, and they need our feedback, the ones who actually play this game, in order to improve their product. Once again guys, thank you so much for the support. We've seen massive growth lately on all fronts, and it's all thanks to each and every one of you that have hit the subscribe button on YouTube, the follow button on Twitch, upvoted on Reddit, or shared any of our content. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm Jeff with EUL Gaming. Good luck out there.